Hi ladies, welcome back to the channel. Today I have um, a wig that is from Amazon. Now, if you have ever looked for wigs on Amazon, um, this wig always pops up. It is, um, the wig is shown with a lady and she, and the hair is like so flowy and it's so thick and it's so pretty. So I wanted to try it and, um, it's not a lace front wig. Um, I think it's a full lace wig. Now I have not opened it. I got it, um, I got it in the mail today. And like I said, it is, um, on Amazon. It's like a really pretty wig and it has gotten a lot of um good reviews on there um the seller that i bought this from is your wigs and this wig it doesn't have a name it's just called short curly kinky wig for black women and it's fluffy wavy black synthetic hair so um so it doesn't like have a name like the standard um wigs that i review so it comes in a bag like this i haven't taken it out yet i will definitely insert the picture somewhere because if you've ever been on amazon or considered like ordering a wig on amazon um this wig always pops up so um again it's just a standard bag let's throw that somewhere and it comes looks like they give you net a net with it so and then um it just kind of comes like this so i'm going to take the netting off here and let's see what we have now looks like it's a full wig so there's no there's not a lace parting or anything that's the middle of it and um it has just these big ringlet curls in there huge curls so let me see if it has any combs in it okay this is the inside construction of the cap it's just your standard full um wig like it's maybe some soft some soft fabric here to sit on your forehead soft fabric um also on the sides here for your temple you you do not get a comb in the back you do get adjustable straps back here i'm going to probably just put it on the last um loop since i haven't tried it on i don't know where it's going to fit but this is it and looks like it's just ring curls like they just went through and they just put ring curls everywhere now the model has hers um basically like a bang in the front and it's just um flowing so we'll try to replicate that look so i will be right back with the wig okay this is the wig just straight out of the pack and with it like this, I will say like it looks really, really intimidating. Um, it has lots and lots of curls, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to pull them out to see if I can get the same look that she has. So let's see how that goes. And I'm probably going to have to cut some of it at least in the front area. But this hair is so soft. It is so bouncy. I mean, oh my goodness. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hair. Yes. It is so, so bouncy. Now, I don't do a lot of curly units. Um, they tend to take over. But this hair is just, it's gorgeous. It is a really gorgeous unit. Now, it looks like 
this is a little bit longer or I don't know if she maybe has it back but looks like the sides are a little bit longer than it seems to be there or maybe I pup pull mine out more um definitely the bang is longer on me so I don't know if I would have to sit that back some if I didn't you know if you didn't want to cut it but I would probably have to I would probably have to cut it and I say that because this part is just so poofy in the front it like takes over okay I think I'm going to go in with my thinning shears and kind of start working around the bang area I didn't want to cut it too much so let's see tell you that I absolutely absolutely love this hair like I love this afro it is so cute it is so fun it is so light I love it let's get into the details and let's talk hair first of all the curl pattern I love the curl pattern they took their time went through put in these big big chunky beautiful ringlets and when you take it out it is effortless I mean you saw all I did was use my hands and and barely this comb to just kind of lift the roots but absolutely beautiful now it is a massive mane it is it can get probably as big as you want and it is um and it's kind of long so if you do not like you know the front to be long then you need to go in like i did and i'll tell you don't use just scissors and cut it across if you can go to your beauty supply store or wherever you can find them sally's or that's a beauty supply store or walmart wherever you go try to find some thinning shears these are your best friend when it comes to hair wigs anything like that because when you cut a curly wig um with these it just it makes the curls stay the same but it thins out the volume and it's at, and it makes them look absolutely gorgeous i mean it keeps the look except it ma makes it not so heavy and it makes it not have a blunt cut and the ends still look good because if you look here you can still see that the ends still look um really nice and it's not real like choppy um for the bang so i did go in and i just kind of snipped around a little bit that's the thing when you're dealing with um like curly wigs you kind of have to trim it to your face you kind of have to put in a little bit of work that's on any any kind of wig that's um that gives you like an afro look or that's curly you have to frame it to your face now especially if you're doing like a bang like in this case this is meant to have a bang like this um I'm sure you probably could style it another way. I wanted to see if I could get the same look as the Amazon model. And I think that I came pretty close um, to it. Now, um, so the pros is I love the curls. Also, I love the hair texture. The hair texture is not um, silky, but it's not like coarse, yakky. It's, it's a great in-between um, for synthetic hair. I think that... I think they did a good job on that. I'll say I think they did a good job when it came came to the hair texture because with it not being too coarse, it's not dull. But with it not being too silky, it's not too shiny. So to me, it's just a natural luster. It's not, you know, it's not like plasticky looking. Now, if you want to go in and it's a little bit too shiny for your taste, you can always use some dry shampoo spray that on there and it could probably um, take down the shine i think the luster on it looks great it just looks to me like healthy hair um so obviously this is i don't think this is everyday hair but i think this is 
well i'll say this it could be everyday hair but for me it will be something um it'd be outfit coordinated hair <laughs> so depending on what outfit i was wearing i would probably you know wear this hair with it um or what you know if i was going for like an afro look or if i you know just something natural you know big earrings like it it would be a look for me i would have to i wouldn't wear it every day it's not something for me to wear every day plus because of the big curls i don't think the curls i don't know but i don't think they would last um too long if you wore it every single day so another thing that I noticed, it seemed that the hair is heavier at the bottom. So on the model, it seemed that hers was maybe thinner up in here. So I don't know if they thinned it um, or what, but you know, you could definitely go in and, and um, thin more around up in, up in this area. I did not because I'm not wearing it. I think whenever I do wear it, I would customize it a little bit more, but just, you know, for the purpose of the video and time, I just did the bang and kind of went through the front of it. But I think if you wanted to, you could go in up in here and kind of thin it out more if you chose, if you want to do that. And if you don't, if you like it to kind of hang um, on your shoulders just a little bit, because if you want to wear it in the summertime, it's not it's not heavy it's not hot it's like perfect hair i mean it moves and you know you could if it gets hot you can kind of you know move it and get underneath there so i think it's the perfect um perfect hair now i have posted a video saying um i posted a video i don't know last month sometime about um an afro that i found at my local beauty supply store i will link that below that is great for people who want a short um short afro so i now, think this one um is good if you want um um uh, bigger curls so the other one is if you want smaller curls this one here to me is better if you want like bigger voluminous um curls so i don't think i have any more to say about this i think it's cute i will give you a quick 360 of the hair um so you can see how that goes, how, where it goes in the back. And then this side, and then over here. It is cute, it's sexy. I think, you know, to pull it off, definitely with all this stuff, girlfriend, you have to like tap into your um, Diana Rossness, uh, whatever, but it's, it's cute. So I will leave all the information below where you can find this wig. Um, I hope you liked the video today. Please subscribe and check out other videos on my channel. If you decide to share this video, um, please tag me in it. If it is Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, it will be Beauty by Mark. Thank you ladies so much for watching. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.